stand out and showcase their accomplishments, more people are turning to multimedia resumes. A recent survey by the National Association of Colleges and Employers found 26% of college seniors use social media to network during their job search. So what do you need to know about social resumes? Career coach Chrissy Civic is here to answer your questions this morning. All right, Chrissy, what is a social resume? This is something that's new we haven't really heard of. Right, and really what we're talking about is using all of these cool new online tools and resources that we have at our fingertips and using them to expand your network, raise your visibility, and establish yourself as an authority and an expert in your field. So what do you need to know about social resumes? How can you use them to your advantage? Well, the first thing that you want to do is remember that about 90% of employers right now say that they are screening their job candidates by searching your name online. And about 70% of those say that what they find online makes them reject the candidate. So you want to wow. own your name. That means you need to go out and buy the domain, your first name, your last name, .com. Unfortunately, a lot of these are already taken. So I recommend adding on a keyword that has something to do with your profession or maybe even your location. The point is that you want to land at the top of that search and you want that information to be within your control. And you can go out and buy that. It's not too uh, horribly expensive, it's right? It's 10 bucks at yeah. most places. Yeah. And it's worth it, too, in the long run Absolutely. to make sure you're marketing your name correctly. Hugely. You'll have ownership over it. You don't want someone else going out there and buying it, and then they're in control of what those employers are going to see. And also, online portfolios. Now, these are more popular. Uh, LinkedIn, I think, it would be a good example of an online portfolio. Yeah, well, what you can do, you know, with that domain name, once you purchase that, you don't want to keep it empty, and you can actually create your own online portfolio. It's so easy. You don't have to be intimidated by this nothing fancy you know put up your resume put up some work samples if you have them you can get creative and do video if you want uh, but there's so many plat platforms out there that are affordable some are even free all you have to do is purchase that domain name and they will walk you through step by step putting this together it's much easier than it sounds a couple of hours and you have your own online portfol portfolio um, under your name online and also you know starting a blog too this this sounds kind of interesting to me you know not a lot of people maybe or think they're that creative or, or they would want to get involved in something like this. How could they do this? Well, blogging got a really bad rap a few years ago when it first got trendy and everybody thought it was a guy in his basement talking about what he had for <laughs> breakfast. Yeah. But really, it can establish you as an expert in your field. You want to be writing about what's going on in your industry. Um, you want to be sharing your knowledge and your skills. And that's going to just expand your network. People are going to find your blog. They'll read about what you're talking about. And then they're going to learn more about you and what you have to offer. And social media is so popular these days. You're telling people, go out, get involved in social media. If you've been sitting on the fence for this long, it's time to get involved, right? Yeah, use Twitter and Facebook to direct people over to your online portfolio, onto your blog. Um, but LinkedIn is the gold standard. You want to make sure that everything is 100% up to date, that it looks really great. Recruiters are on there actively looking for people to fill their open positions. But remember, everything you put out there anywhere, it has to be consistent with your personal brand. It has to represent you well as a professional. So be really careful. Forget those privacy settings. Pretend mm -hmm. like they don't exist. Yeah. There's just there's too much opportunity to make a mistake. Things that you thought were private go public. Um, so just be really cautious. Yeah, is it worth it putting your, your fun time at a birthday party on there if it means you're not going to get a job? Right. Yeah. Filter everything through that question of if my prospective employer were to see this, mm -hmm. would I be okay with that? Yep. Yeah, it is social media, not private media, Chris. Yes. Thanks for being here this morning. You can find more information in the on-air section of our website, kdbr.com. Just click on the link to each your career. 745, let's send it over to Jennifer Broom and